Getting a new phone is very exciting. You want to rush and set it up and get it working as soon as possible, forgetting about that old iPhone that is now going to collect dust. But there's one more step you need to take as you transfer everything over to your new phone to complete the process, and it has big security implications for you, and that is factory resetting and wiping your iPhone to get all of your information off of it. I'm Jason Cipriani, and in this ZDNet how-to video, I'm going to show you the simple steps you'll need to take to factory reset your iPhone. All right, so it's important to factory reset and erase your iPhone because you want to get all of your apps, your banking apps, your financial information, your iCloud uh, account or Apple ID off of your old phone. And if you're selling it or trading it in, it's important to get that information off your phone, but it's also important to disable the Find My iPhone portion of iCloud. If that's still enabled and you reset your phone and someone else ends up with it, they won't be able to activate it. And in some cases, companies that take phones as trade-ins will actually reject the trade-in, leaving you on the hook for the lack of a credit that you would get from that trade-in. So I'm gonna walk you through the steps of factory resetting a phone. Apple has actually made this really easy in iOS 15. There used to be a few extra steps to this, but now it's streamlined and it can be done with just a few taps and a few uh, minutes of your time. So I'm gonna open the settings app. I'm gonna tap on general. I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom where you see transfer or reset iPhone. And then I'm assuming you've already set up your phone so you're good to go there. Uh, you don't need to worry about prepare for new iPhone. At the bottom, I'll tap on erase all content and settings. And here you're gonna have a screen that shows you erase this iPhone and then it goes through all of the information that's gonna be taken off your iPhone, including your apps and your data, your Apple ID. It's reminding you that it is going to turn off activation lock or find my, which includes activation lock. And it's also going to erase all cards, keys and passes from the Apple wallet app that you may have stored on your iPhone. I'm gonna tap continue. All right, so this part is optional. If you're unsure if everything is transferred over to your new iPhone already, go ahead and let this uh, iCloud backup finish. It shouldn't take too long if you routinely update or back up your iPhone to iCloud. I'm gonna go ahead and hit skip backup because I don't need to. And the last step is it's going to ask you for your Apple ID password. And so go ahead and enter that and then you'll hit turn off. And this is to disable find my iPhone and activation lock. All right, so there at the bottom now it says, are you sure you want to continue? All media data and settings will be erased. This cannot be undone. So you'll follow the rest of those prompts confirming that that's what you wanna do. All right, so the phone will reset, it'll reboot a few times. And eventually it'll come back to the hello screen that it appears on the iPhone when you first get it out of the box as if it was brand new. With following this procedure, you won't have any issues with Find My still being activated or activation lock still being turned on. And you'll have peace of mind knowing that all of your data and information is erased from that old phone. So you can then sell it and try to get a little bit of your money back or trade it in for some of these uh, big time promotions that carriers have. Once again, I'm Jason Cipriani. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to check out ZDNet.com for more tech news and tech tips just like this one.